It's a little nation of 2.3 million people, the size of Ireland or West Virginia. Latvia is a little country in a big location. It's, uh, it's in the northeastern part of Europe, north of Poland, south of Finland, west of Russia, east of Sweden, on the Baltic Sea. It's uh, in a strategic location. I see it as a gateway to the east, as a hub of the north, as a platform to reach not only the east, but also um, Western Europe with the gospel. In Europe, we see magnificent churches and cathedrals. Until the early 20th century, Europe was the center of Christian thought and faith. It was from Europe that missionaries were sent all over the world. Then why should reaching Europe with the gospel be so important? Europe is the least evangelized continent in the world. I'm going to say that again. Europe is the least evangelized continent in the world. and yet. The most difficult place for the American church to consider the mission field is Europe. Americans usually consider Europe as a place to vacation, to experience the old world and admire the beautiful sights. With such a limited point of view, many Christians ignore one of the most humanistic, atheistic continents on earth. From the 9th century until 1918, Latvia was occupied by foreign powers, including Germany, Lithuania, Poland, Sweden, and Russia. Then, for the first time in its history, Latvia was an independent nation for 22 years. And by 1940, it was one of the most economically prosperous nations in Europe. It was the second highest educated per capita nation in Europe. But in 1940, Stalin's Russia invaded Latvia. When the Nazis came in in 1941 and drove the Russians out, the Russians came back in 44, and then from 44 until 1991, Latvia was part of the Soviet Union. 47 brutal years of Soviet occupation finally ended in 1991. Breaking away, Latvia seized her freedom, beginning a new era of spiritual and economic opportunity. Always from from beginning, from 90s, uh, when the freedom movement started, National Front started, uh, the church was very active. Uh, mainly the first, maybe, people even who went to demonstration, there were Christians. Even before the Berlin Wall came down and communism fell, BBI started to serve as a ministry catalyst, connecting American believers with Latvian believers. Over the years, these living bridges led to more bridges to Latvia, in Latvia, and from Latvia. One of the ways BBI builds living bridges to Latvia is through strategic partnerships between individuals and organizations in the US and Latvia. Uh, the bridge builders, uh, I see their role like of a matchmaker, and a good matchmaker will uh, uh, see uh, the strengths of the one and the other and bring the right people together. Healthy partnerships often require the sharing of resources. BBI has helped to connect resources with ministry and humanitarian needs in Latvia since 1994. As BBI partnerships are formed, lives are transformed through sister church partnerships. American and Latvian churches have worked side by side in vacation Bible schools to reach neighborhood children and their parents. Some American churches have helped their sister churches with construction projects, such as building cabins for Christian camps. Using BBI's traveling dental station, some partners have provided much needed services to Latvia's poorest regions for many years. One BBI-related program, Hope for Farm Families, has brought specialists together to train and assist Latvians in the business of sheep farming. In the process, many have been told about a good shepherd who gave his life for his sheep. In conjunction with Latvian Christian Radio, partners in the US help raise funds and provide construction and technical expertise to build Latvia's first state-of-the-art Christian recording studio. 
Christian musicians now have an affordable way of recording their music. But partnership like the one which has been developed with Oregon's church, this is a special one. This is more like a friendship and thanks to brother Chuck Kelly, <laughs> it was his initiative. We are very small. America is pretty big. <laughs> And I think to feel such a friend um, behind a supporter, it really, it's really helps to, to, to live and give some stability, uh, give also some always um, strength for future. BBI bridges are not only built to Latvia, but also in Latvia touching the lives of Latvia's political, social and spiritual leaders. Since 1999, BBI has worked with Latvia's spiritual leaders through an annual, three-day retreat called Prayer Days. This is where more than 150 overworked pastors, missionaries, ministry leaders and spouses come together to recharge their personal relationships with Jesus. Through inspirational speakers and protected quiet times, leaders naturally grow close to each other. As a result, visions are expanded and new initiatives generated. Lives are transformed at every level throughout the nation and beyond. We invited pastors from different churches and I believe the first time when we were together we looked at each other kind of Weirdly, you know, we never knew what to expect from another guy, and now we meet like a friend, you know, uh, not just like a friend, we are friends. In 2008, another living bridge was built in Latvia, connecting a spiritual need with a long-term solution. In a strategic partnership, BBI and the Latvian Baptist Union established a new training ground for Latvia's next generation of pastors the Baltic Pastoral Institute. And of course there are not enough pastors in Latvia. There are so many places that have not a church, so many villages without any church. So there's still a lot of work to do. Since there are many needs, but uh, one of the main needs is uh, preparing of new pastors. And the average age of a pastor in Latvia is quite high. So, uh, I mean, we should watch so that, I mean, pastoral ministry doesn't become one big senior ministry, yeah. So uh, I think in the age group from, uh, from uh, like 20 to 35, we have maybe like five, six pastors, and there are about 88, close to 90 churches. Uh, so uh, that really creates us some problem. The purpose of the Baltic Pastoral Institute is to equip young Christian leaders to be effective pastors of Latvia's churches. The initial goal of the institute is to plant or replant 100 churches in the next 10 years. Chuck Kelly serves as the dean and one of the instructors. Some professors are local Latvians, while many guest lecturers come from abroad. A solid curriculum has been developed, emphasizing sound biblical content, practical ministry competence, personal character development, and a commitment to cultural relevance. All graduates will have learned English as well. Because of BBI's involvement with the Baltic Pastoral Institute, every student is required to participate in Bridge Builders' major initiatives. In this way, they benefit from the content presented at Prayer Days, the National Prayer Breakfast, and another BBI initiative called Mission Days. As the students are involved, they experience the leadership process and are introduced to many of Latvia's spiritual and national leaders. One of the main avenues through which bridge builders helps to construct living bridges from Latvia is through the annual Mission Days conference. Understandably, since freedom came in 1991, most Latvian pastors have been focusing inwardly. They want to restore their fragmented congregations and church buildings which suffered damage during the decades of communism. But some leaders are beginning to look externally to see the importance of taking the gospel beyond their communities, even beyond their nation's borders. Mission Days informs and inspires this kind of thinking. 
And since so many people in Latvia know Russian language, it's so easy to go there and to minister because of the language. You just, you can go and, and talk to people and they can talk to you. And we know the traditions, we still know how people live, how people behave. It's so easy to understand also the nonverbal things there, which is sometimes hard if you come from such a far away country as America. God spoke in my heart and put the burden on my heart for us to be ministering the gospel also to the people of the former Soviet republics. With the BBI Vice President Mike Parker we went and uh, saw what's happening there and actually how it has progressed then it was two people from Latvia going. The next time we went we were three, then it was 12, then 21, 29 and uh, it's growing and my hope is by 2010 we will have 100 Latvians uh, in, on a mission, uh, not only to Bashkortostan but to other places too. Latvians are not only uniquely suited to reach the former Soviet countries, but they are strategically positioned to minister to the whole of Europe. Many Latvian Christians are already using their ethnicity, multiple languages and cultural skills to connect with people around the world. Some are taking the gospel to people in places close to Americans. Mission Days encourages even more Latvians to be involved in missions, building living bridges from Latvia to the unreached. Europe is the least evangelized continent in the world home to the largest number of agnostics and atheists in the Western world, even with more than 50 nations, from Luxembourg to Russia and 728 million people. Europe still only has 5 million evangelicals in the entire continent. And yet the most difficult place for the American church to consider the mission field is Europe. Why is that? When we think of Europe, we think of London and the crown jewels. We think of skiing in the Alps, or going up the Eiffel Tower, or having Frankfurters in Frankfurt. We don't think of unreached people groups. We don't think that, that in France, in the next 20 years, there will be more Muslims than there are French. BBI is all about building bridges to Latvia through partnerships, building bridges in Latvia by encouraging and training their leaders, and building bridges from Latvia by empowering believers as indigenous missionaries to take the gospel beyond Latvia's borders. You are invited to become a part of one of the most innovative and effective mission organizations in the Baltics to be a living bridge builder through Bridge Builders International. Your invitation is threefold. Go, pray, give. Go, go on a partnership mission trip. Build lifelong relationships while serving the Lord alongside brothers and sisters from a remarkable European culture. BBI has helped organize and host dozens of mission trips in Latvia. BBI is equipped to help you and your church build new partnerships that will impact Latvia and beyond with the gospel. You can get there from here. Pray. Pray with and for all who are involved in bridge building to Latvia, in Latvia and from Latvia. Give. Give to help support this productive ministry. BBI can give only what partners like you place in their hands. They can only reach as far as resources will take them. As people get involved, as they give of their time, of their money, they are giving a part of their heart. Won't you become a bridge builder? Together we will build bridges to Latvians, who will build bridges to reach others in Latvia, and from Latvia to Europe and beyond with the gospel.